<clears throat> Let's see what this is going to be here. It's got some weight to it. Oh, I think it's a bass. Yeah, nice large mouth. <laughs> That's it. As our friend Steve Starling from Australia used to say, give it stick. So I've got the drag crank down because I don't want it to go down in those weeds. That fish was in about 14 feet of water. So, you know, my strategy coming into today was starting shallow, like 10, 14 feet, which isn't super shallow, but then working my way to like 20 feet of water. See if I can bring this guy around. So he really grabbed that. That was interesting because he was just off the weeds. You know, and there's that bug. So, you know, pike and bass can live in harmony. They feed on the same food. Later on when I'm gonna be casting a crankbait, you know, some of the bigger fish learn to feed off in deeper water because those bait fish, especially panfish, are migrating from the shallows. And that's a really good time to intercept them with crankbaits. When you go with a worm hook, you know, you've got so much power because the hook is so round and long. There, nice chunky largemouth. It's gonna take off real quick. That water's starting to cool off. It's that time of year. 